Yeah, but uh, you know, look at my little guy. Yeah, you're right. It is bearish out there. You see that, Bellum? It's a little bear. Market is bearish. Say bearish. bearish. Good girl. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Well, guys, welcome, welcome. We're just this, me and Bella are discussing the bearishness going on in the market and what it means. You know, Bella has some opinions about it. You know, I have my opinions about it. But as we continue going through this, guys, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Uh, this is uh, today. I am Vlad. If you, this is your first time here, welcome, welcome. I'd love for you to say hello if you're in the building. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Looks like there's only a few people in. That's a little weird. So if you're Timothy, what's up? How are you? Gigi, Christian, what's up? Robert Finta, welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, the market's looking a little crazy. But we're going to discuss exactly what's going on. What's up, Essence? If you're in the building, say hello. Robert Finta, say hello. We'd love to see your faces. If you're if you're live, comment live. If you're if you're watching a replay, let me hear the replay people out there. Uh, Dave Gorbia, what's up? You're in the house. Let's get some more people up in here. So yeah, man, Shane Pennon, one of our good paid clients. How are you, man? Chris says a lot of great things about you, man. He loves you. Uh, so does Bella. And if you're interested in talking to Bella, she actually knows the stock market a little better than I do. We'll discuss that as well. Bella, you want to say hi? Say hi. Say hi to the camera. Everybody loves you. Look. Say hi. Hi. She was a little sick before, but she's back. I'm back. <laughs> yeah, she's good to go now. Kelly, how are you? How's things been? All right. All right. Let's see. So we got a lot to discuss today. Bella, you ready to do the look at the market? You see? Yeah, you, that's right. Douglas Harold Tucker is live. Jose Perez says, hola. Hi, Jose. How are you? All right. Mark Cunningham says, hello. Everybody says, hello, right? Let me put you down here. Go enjoy yourself. Um, so let's take a look what's going on, guys. So we talked about this before. I said, guys, always remember the word confirmation. And we're going to talk about that a lot today, right? What is going on? Karun Shakir, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Um, the negative line on stock, Elliot, don't forget. Yeah, I got to tell you some cool stuff Vincent showed us. Okay. All right, cool. It flips the, the chart upside down. It's very bullish then. Yeah, but you just got to put a negative sign in front of the ticker. What? I thought he was joking with me. Check it out. Watch. Put a negative sign right okay. there. Okay. Watch what it does. What? Why? <laughs> why? It kind of helps with the perspective of bounce. You know, That's very interesting. It's like, should we play puts? Well, that we is play so interesting. Right? I'm going to use that later on for sure. All right, guys. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Welcome, welcome, Keta Saints. How are you? So let's get this going, guys. Let's get this really going. So Scott English, another paid client. What's up, Frank Miller? How are you guys? Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for joining the market, right? What is going on? So, so crazy. It's just unbelievably bearish. And I told you guys, you know, I was looking for a bounce. I really was. Now, here's the thing. Here's the keyword that I just said. Look, here is a keyword that I just said. Yeah, I'm surprised. You're, you're being negative on the show. Come on, Christian. What's going on, man? So... The idea here is that the fact that it's below it, you know, I said I was looking for it. That means I, I'm hoping it's going to happen. Doesn't mean it will. And right now it's just showing us that, hey, it broke this support. So when you see that, our next goal is to see how far did it break. So let's go in and really check it out. So uh, let me see here. So let's just go back to a, a year. We'll say a year. Yeah. probably two years mm -hmm. and see what, what, what the chart showed yeah. so if you look where it's at right now it's a very delicate spot i'm going to tell you right now um it is very much in a bearish territory we are officially in a very and bearish and look at where it's at right now we are right at this point right at this point so what is that point that point right there, guys, is showing me, and then when did this happen? So we could probably pull up a year oh, chart to make it clear, right? 
right here you're referring to? That was uh, May of 2021. Yeah, so let's go back to that chart. Let's go back a year, because that's exactly a year ago. And there it is. So look at that. Exactly a year ago, we were in this position. So, and here's what's crazy, guys. This is, let me tell you the, the bearishness power. It took us a matter of uh, a month mm -hmm. to go from this point to this point. It took us over uh, close to like six months to, yeah, about six to eight months to even get to that area. So, like I said before, stocks take the elevator going down. They take the stairs going up. They just are faster. So we are now hitting this point again. Um, you guys showed me that negative chart. The idea is, is it going to continue going this bearish channel? As of right now, looks like that's the case. Nothing is showing me otherwise. So we continue to wait. We continue to wait. We are seeing this channel form right here. So overall, in just a bearish market, very hard to say what's going to happen right this second. Okay, we just have to wait for the reversal but i will tell you when the reversal comes they come hard and we got to look at it and see what happens recently what's been happening stock goes bearish stock goes bullish stock goes bearish stock goes bullish mm -hmm. stock goes bearish and here's the thing every time it goes bearish <laughs> it goes real bullish we just have to wait guys so the the key is let's pay attention when it's going to happen um just checking out jumping jay what's up man how are you gerald roundtree nice to see you again thank you for joining our our elite group man it's all, always great to see somebody join i know you were here before dave was very excited to see you join anil mita melanie lynn art moore vincent karachi a lot of great people in the building. Zachary Fuller. Love it, love it, love it. David Giova. What's up, David? I know you're completely new to trading. Um, just curious, uh, how did you like the Predator course? I know we, we provided that for you. And just interested to see. I know uh, uh, Dave was telling me you were watching that. So let me know how that went. Uh, El Hershey Morel. What's up, man? And um, uh, I'm sorry, David. If you have any questions about the course, by all means, like David with an E at the end, da David, Davide, Giova. If you have any questions, by all means, you're more than welcome to ask here. I'd love to hear from you. All right, all right. So let's get into this. So that's the market, guys. So if you have any stocks you want us to review today, we have more means, I would love to. Do we have any plays we want to go over from before? I don't Thursdays. remember. No, Thursdays, we didn't really do that many plays, yeah, right? No, yeah. All right, cool. Ah, fish uh, face I in the house. I think we did Neo to the downside on Friday. Or Thursday, excuse me. Yeah, I did. But that was uh, it. Uh, uh, yep. So, Neo, uh, I played that. I thought this was a good play to the downside. And you can see here. Um, it, what was it? Thursday, at least. What's today? Tuesday, Wednesday. It goes to that big red candle. Yeah, so it was here. If you guys see, beautiful play to the downside. Right now, it's hitting the support, so it's basically done. Again, we are killing. I don't think we got one wrong this month, did we? So we're at 100% of all calls. I don't know. we got to calculate how many stocks it was, but we are, again, killing it because why? What we do works. I'm showing it to you guys live here. So um, Donald, man, how are you? Completely, You're completely new to trading, right? How was the Predator course for you? I know you watched that. Uh, David, I'm sorry, uh, David, yeah, you're, uh, I know you trade some news and stock tips, right? Um, how's that going for you? Dave talks a lot about you too, so just want to bring you guys up. Uh, okay, so where to next? So yeah, now the brand new Predator course was informative. I liked it. Awesome, man. Awesome. Glad to see. So Donald, because you're new here, I'm going to give you the first stock, NVDA. We'll check that out. All right, guys, let's get this going. So if you're looking at the stock again, guys, if you're interested in checking out some of our content like uh, Donald has, we're more than welcome to provide it for you. Just comment webinar on the bottom of this chat where it also says write comment, write webinar, and we will have we will send you the link so you can get free content from us. 
It's really good stuff. It's an hour training. It's going to teach you six simple steps to make money on the market. And that's how we pick our stocks. That's how we make money. So yeah, it's free. It's for me. So check it out. Definitely webin just comment webinar. What's up? <laughs> if it's free, it's for me. Yes, sir. Um, so NVIDIA. So the NVIDIA, it, it's, it's following the market. Mm -hmm. So when you're seeing something like this, um, you got to be very, very careful because we don't know right now what the market's going to do. The other thing is, if you look at the moving day averages right now, it's very below it all. Okay. So, yeah. So, check out. so Tasha Carr, we got you. So, Dave is going to probably reach out to you right now. Elliot liked your message. So, Dave's going to hook you up. So, it's up. But what do you think of HPE? We'll check it out. Ace Boosh, one of our very premier members, actually. Um, so Victor Lohachu, Privet Kagila. Just checking this out here. What I'm seeing is a downward channel that doesn't look like it's coming down at all. Sorry for all the errors. I didn't mean to do that. I was just so I was pointing out the fact that there's so many moving day averages below it all. So it's actually bouncing below the averages. And in fact, I'm gonna use a little tool you guys just showed me. <laughs> you know, a little if you if you take the stock upside down, guess what? It looks like, so it's technically looking like it's ready to reverse to the downside, which is actually the upside. The upside. <laughs> so it's the same psychology. I think if anything, we could play this as a swing back to the upside, get it to 190. So I like this one to 190. Would I invest in it? Uh, I don't know because it is below its averages right now. But if you're going to do that, that's your best bet there. Um, I just would be careful because the market is so bearish. So I would mm -hmm. kind of be careful with that. Um, El Hershey Mor Morel, we got you with the webinar. Dave or Chris are going to reach out to you. So I'm gonna, uh, so Dave and Chris, if you're on, help this gentleman out. So we can get him some free content. Uh, where's next? Uh, HP. You know what? I want to check out uh, Ace Bush. Ace Bush got cool. some good stuff. HPE. HPE. He's one of our premier members. He gets a little bit here. All right. So I like what I'm seeing. It's, you've been picking some really good ones. I like what you're seeing. So there's a few things that I like about it here. Again, you got this going on. You got this going on here. So we got a good momentum. Volume is pretty decent at 10 million, which is great. And what I'm also liking seeing here uh, is the fact that it's kind of sneaking up here. But we talked about this, he's pushed right here, that we got to make sure that it actually breaks through convincingly, okay? So that's my only concern here is, yes, it is up, it is the second day up, but if it's not, if it's kind of kind of reverse, that's a problem. I would wait till like around 350, see where it's at. I'm not convinced because last time it came to this area, it bounced back down. So we need to see a nice breakout first for us to do anything like that. No problem, Donald. Anytime, man. Anything you need, you just let us know. Cool, cool, cool. Who else is in the building? Who else is in the building? Uh, let me see. Anybody else? Charles Morris. All right. Uh, I think uh, Ace Bush, as Bucks puts. So let's check out Starbucks. Um, so A, you see how nice Ace Bush you got? You get the VIP treatment because you're a VIP. Um, what do I think about puts on this? So again, man, we talked about this. I feel like it's a little stretched from the top a little bit and it's been going in this channel here. So I would say if anything, I would be careful with this because there's a good chance it could mm -hmm. reverse. We're in a very particular place right now where you got to be careful with stocks mm -hmm. like this. So personally, yeah, volume is decreasing. Yeah, decreasing. I would not I would not. The volume is decreasing. Where the, uh, you could see a flatness in the momentum. So I'm not. I'm not a fan of the puts on that one personally. All right. What else we got? Uh, CVX. CVX. All right. So CVX. Uh, very flat. So when you're seeing something this flat, you got to be very careful too. Again, it's just a very weird time. So this is also not just flat, but it has this consolidation that's been happening in this channel. And it blew up. So last time it did this was a little consolidation here. It seems to like these consolidations and then pop-ups. The key is breaking through it. Here's the issue I've seen people do. We know it's going to break out. That's definitely going to happen. Guarantee it. 
it's which way. Mm -hmm. So some people say, oh, well, look, it's always going up. So eventually, well, let me invest it now. That's not the case, guys. That's not always the case. <laughs> Back in the day, we had a lot of people do that. And uh, with Zom and things like that, I used to talk to people on here like, oh, my God, I got hit. Well, I told you I have to do that. Wait for confirmation. We want to wait for this to either break out to the up or to the down and then invest. Those are the smart people that do that. So make sure you wait for the right time to do it. Right now, it's not the right time. Once it gets to 176 or 152 or 150, I would say, then we could talk. Until then, uh, 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 I'm good to go. Boon Mi Sanusi, what's up? Veronica Tomil uh, uh, Tomlinson, how are you? Michael McLean, McLean, how are you? What's up, Leo? How are you, brother? Leo the Bear, this is when he comes out to play. <laughs> What's your next? Uh, NBCT. You know what? Let me check out Cat. Today we're going to go in order because some people, you know what? They're just VIPs in my eyes. I don't know. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm looking at Cat. I don't know, I don't know what you're looking for puts or what you were, were looking for here. I will tell you um, what I'm seeing is that it is very close to the 200 day moving day average. So again, based on the market, it's a little uncertain which way it's going to move. We might have to wait a few days in that. I'm going to say uh, this is my kind of market. Yes, it is your kind of market. But I will tell you, man, um, I'm not sold on this being so bearish, man. I just, I'm just not. I see this is a very important line here it's on. It's very close to 200-day moving day average. Um, the, the volume is 1.7, which is not that crazy for this stock. And the yes, the momentum's to the downside, but I don't fully see it, man. I just don't see it. Like not enough for me to make a call on. What's up, Donald Tucker? So yeah, I mean, right now, I don't know. What, what do you think? It has I like think this... it, the volume is probably the, the thing for me. It's like it is uh, decreasing. It seems so it might consolidate in that area. It might consolidate in that area. Yeah. So I, I'm I agree with you on that. So right now, um, not something I would invest in personally. Personally, probably thinking doing a paycheck collector though. maybe a paycheck yeah, collector yeah something like that but we don't really, we don't really discuss it on this yeah, channel fair. so if you're liking what you're seeing guys if you want to check out our webinar comment webinar below you definitely enjoy it. it's great content one hour of me really explaining my strategy and how to use stocks like this to make money six easy steps that's all it is where to next mm -hmm. me says awesome. hello huh we go through some and that was that was it what oh bmy BMY and then MBC team. Okay, BMY again. This one right here. Um, you're you're looking at this and you could see it's kind of consolidating pretty, pretty crazily. Um, it might blow up, but again, we need to see it get past 78, and it could be a good situation there. But we need to see it get past that. If not, you're gonna see the flatness, and you have a, you're taking a big uh, chance for it to go to the other side. Amit Patel, how are you, man? Douglas Harold Tucker, I already said hello to you. He just didn't say hello to me back. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm thinking about that, guys. So any other anybody else with any stocks, please let us know. NBCT. Uh, we're taking any stocks you want right now. NBCT. NBCT is too new, man. Oh, yeah. It's way too new to this market. There's no options for it. And again, you don't want to trade anything that doesn't have. Uh, over 200 days, and you can see here it says undefined, means this, this market is not even 200 days old. That's one thing. What's up, Rohi Doobie? I'm doing pretty good, Amit. Thanks for asking, mm -hmm. man. Shukriya, shukriya. Um, and this one right here, when I'm looking at this, well, um, the other part of it is look at the volume $55,000. Uh, $55,000 $55, yeah, yeah. in, in uh, volume means that not a lot of people are trading it. You're just call, you're just asking for a big headache with something like this, especially when there's no options. Don't, definitely don't recommend trading something like this. Not at all. Not for me. Not today. Uh, Denise Mitchell, how are you? So um, that's how I feel about that. So, guy, any other one? Apple? Oh, yeah, Apple. Let's check out I'm Apple. Saying, where did you just read that? But I think I got what you're saying. What? That stock wasn't what for you. Not at all. Yeah. UPST and Costco. We'll check it out. Brian Norris. What's up, man? Love a good Costco. Great. You do. Denise, you're doing great. I'm glad you're doing great. If you have any questions for us, by all means, check it out. If you haven't seen our webinar, just let us know. We could get it for you. It's free. 
Um, so looking at this, there's a lot of volatility with stocks like this right now with Apple. I know we're like it's like tech sector in general. Yeah, yeah. just uh, just craziness going on with this sector right now. Personally, I'm looking at that right now. Like, uh, oh, man. Yeah, so it's 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 way below its averages, guys. So right now, I would recommend not investing in something like this, not 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 at all. I mean, I'm just looking at I I see I'm seeing it coming down so hard. So just wait. That's all I could say is just wait and see what happens. I would, it's just not showing a good sign of anything right now. Jose Perez VST. Let's check that one out. This could be a good one, but it's in the middle of two averages. So that's the one problem with something like this. So when you're seeing this all the way over here, it's in between these averages. We either want to see it start bouncing off this one or break out of this one. This one has been very consistent. Again, it just took a little bit of a downturn on this market. What I will tell you guys, sometimes it just the way the market goes, it might take a couple of days for it to kind of just reconfigure itself. And that's all. So that's why a lot of these stocks are looking the way they're looking. What's your next? Uh, Costco. Costco. Let me check out Mo oh, for a boosh. Too crazy. Well, I'll tell you, man. Uh, so a couple things about this one. Um, it depends if there's anything going on with this stock. Yeah. So that's the first that's one. We've got to check out the news. when Because, again, there's a gap. <laughs> that's the first one. When it goes this down, yeah, I would say that's not something. Even though there's volume. It looks like there's a yeah, that's right. A yeah. Catalyst. There's some sort of catalyst. Yeah, a lot of emotions sure. going on. Man. A lot of emotions going on. So if it's just think about it, the stock has been following a beautiful pattern, right? It's been going above, just moving up into this area, doing so well, so well. And when it has some, and it's been like that for a while because mm. it's always been above the average. For something to just throw that off that much usually does not mean unless it's a, a company's going bankrupt it might have been just some new might have been whatever but something like this will reverse pretty back just because the stock is very healthy overall where to next yeah, that's an odd one um upst uh upst also oh, has been, yeah thing. same thing man so when you see these big gaps you we don't know what's going to happen nobody does i don't care what they tell you it's just so gappy, man. It's so gappy. So this just means that it opened up really short, really short, and based on news, something got announced, something got happened. You just want to be you you want to be careful something like that and stay away from that. Greg Bernhard, happy birthday, man! I know it's been your birthday, January eleventh. So happy birthday! It's coming up soon. Uh. <laughs> Casa Varela, what's up, brother? How are you? GNB. D nice. My name is D nice. Oh, Costco. 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 Um, it's my Costco. Wait, I'll check if I want to. Let's see here. So Costco is going under this line right here, running this channel pretty nicely. Mm -hmm. Um, it is a be uh, right next to the two hundred day moving the average. The question is, is it going to continue to reverse? We need to see it. Uh, give us a reversal signal like this is a reversal signal right here two of these would be nice until we get there you got to be careful because guess what if you go back to the market we had something similar you know oh man is it going to reverse oh man well it did not it did not so this is the time when we use something called the paycheck collector a lot of times it's a great way to make money and things like this if you don't know what a, the paycheck collector is it's a great way to make passive income. Even in the market like that, you should check out our webinar. I go over it in that webinar as my second strategy. So I'll give you two strategies in this webinar, the bounce profit and the paycheck collector. So if you haven't seen it yet, comment webinar below and we'll get that for you for sure. All right, all right. Cool, cool, cool. What else we got going on here? Anybody else got any stocks for us? Pins. Um, no, pins. What is it? Pins. Pins? P I N S? Mm -hmm. It has, has it bottomed yet? Um, has it bottomed yet? No, it has no. not. No, it has not. Because think about it historically, the stock was just lower not that long ago, even lower than it's been. Mm -hmm. So there's, I could see the stock hitting easily to this point, mm -hmm. easily to what is it, 1853. So 
uh, at least there. I mean, you could see that's something the stock likes to do. And when it does it, sometimes it goes even lower than that. Like that's just what it's been doing. So be very, very careful with something like this. Just saying. Where's your next? Uh, C S X. Anybody have any other so stocks? Please let us know. C S X. Okay, so C S X looks to me like we have a situation. Situation. Yep, the, right here. So you could see it's breaking through here. This could be a good bearish situation. However, um, the volume is decreasing pretty steadily. It is still over 10 million, we're close to 13 million. Uh, but I would say you got to be very careful with this one. Um, maybe, I mean, what do you think if it breaks through? The, I guess it did. Yeah, but I, I think you sold me with the, the volume. Yeah, the, gonna, yeah, I mean, like, the volume is decreasing and the fact that it's already kind of uh, way below its yeah. averages, it might be a little stretched out from that area. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to see if it ever did that before. And you can see it did it here before and it didn't go much down. Yeah, it took a little lo longer to get there, but it wasn't much down and then it started reversing. If anything, I would like to see the stock start reversing back to the upside. Yeah. But overall, I want, what I see is too much volatility with the stock for me to invest in. So. That's what I think. K O. What's next? Hubs. H U B S. I don't think I've ever heard of this one. Hubs. Uh, let's see. So, oh, HubSpot. Yeah. So this is a CRM system, actually. Believe mm. it or not. Yeah, they're pretty pretty popular in the e-commerce world. Almost like a Salesforce. Yeah, E-commerce. Oh, uh, Salesforce. Yeah, it's similar to Salesforce. So, uh, yeah, it's way too down right now. I mean. It doesn't look like it's stopping. It looks like it's continuing to go down. If anything, I would have to kind of probably zoom out a little bit to look yeah. and see what we see. Do you see what I see? No, I don't because you're blind. Wow. Uh, yeah, I mean, everything right now is like to, a little bit to the bearish side. Looks like um, right, uh, yeah, right here. Wow. So last time we saw the stock there was uh, in the, uh, October. October of 2020. Of 2020, yeah. That is, so this stock now, we could say, oh, it's the market. It's not, it's been going <laughs> down like that. So this has been following a trend for a while. I mean, even on the long term, we're talking about here, right? On the long term, we're talking about, oof, um, a, a, a downward channel. So I don't see anything good about the stock whatsoever, personally. Where's the next? Uh, JetBlue. J B L U. What is it? J what? B L U. Uh, Tasha Carr. How are you? Johnny Daniels. Welcome, welcome. Yes. Uh, oh, Johnny Daniels, I believe Steve told me a little bit about you, man. He told me great things about you. Yeah, I know you do some uh, training right now. How's everything going, man? Welcome. Uh, Kai Fink, I see you're in the house as well. Uh, just curious, man. I know uh, I heard that you're a farmer. How's that been? How do you like farming? I was wondering, can you guys do Facebook Live and YouTube Live at the same time? I think it's it is possible as because I can't use my phone without closing. Thing. Hey, Kristen, you want to get on a call with us, bro? You want to set that up for me? Mommy, come on, bro. We're fam. You got to hook it up. We're family here. It's Jack's brother. Who? I don't know. I don't know what he's talking about. Randy, what you talking about? <laughs> Whose brother? <laughs> You're Anthony's brother. I don't know anything else. You see that guy with the axe, bro? Looks just like him. Oh, my God. I found a guy who looks so much like him. I don't want to get into it. Uh, JBLU, yeah, this is very bearish, guys. This is just too bearish for me. You could see it. I would not invest. I mean, you could see this. It's stretched so much from the averages. You got to be very, very, very careful. Yeah, Christine, if you could help out for, in all seriousness, I would love to do that. Absolutely. I don't know how unless you have two devices. But yeah, definitely uh, hit me up. And uh, we could talk about it for sure. Where's the next? Okay, yeah. Doesn't some, don't some phones where like, you could change this live into like a little widget on your phone. It'll I don't know, bro. I get scared of changing things like that. No, no. I mean, for cell phone users, but it might depend if you're using that. But. Oh, John Daniels. What's up, John Daniels? Uh, yeah, I, think, uh, I don't know if he's Jack Daniels' brother. Oh, he's Jack. I don't know. I'm not sure. 
<laughs> Jeff Noel, how are you? What else we got here? All right. Alonzo Diaz in the house. We got the brothers here. Alonzo and Leo in the house. What's that? KO. KO. Uh, sorry, guys. Just There's a lot snipers. of people. Like, huh? There's snipers. Um, yeah, looking over here. So it's just kind of going into this downward channel. It's in between um, averages right now. So I like it. So this has been so stretched from its averages. It's finally coming down. Um, I would say I would be careful with stuff like this. I would maybe use a Fibonacci here to check that out. And uh, I don't see anything good here. I, I see a lot of inverted hammers, yeah. a lot of downward uh, momentum, too many things mixed up, not something I could call on. Plus, Coca-Cola is not really good for you to drink. So what's your next? PG. Point guard. Uh, PG. PG, PG. Uh, so it's running this 50-day moving day average. I like that, but I don't like the fact that the volume is a little bit bearish. Hey, guys, listen, it's a, just some days are just not good for these type of trades. Now, it doesn't mean some people ask me, oh, well, can you trade in this market? Maybe, you know, how do you adapt to this type of market? Guys, we've been trading really well. We're like 100% ratio right now with this bearish market. But some days are a little just a waiting day. I usually there's usually like six to ten good days in the market that you could really dominate. Alonzo, what's up, brother? How you been, man? I haven't talked to you in a while. I haven't talked to you in a bit. Um, Ace Bush, bro, one of my uh, elite clients here. Um, what likes Bank of America puts? So yeah, PG for me, not right now. Definitely not. Let me check out uh, BAC and W. Um, so you're saying for puts, here's the thing about puts. I see how you're saying it's bouncing, but remember when, it, when we talk about bouncing, we want to see a bounce like when it hits a certain point. So if it's, I'm trying to find a spot uh, where it's doing that. The stock, so like, for example, right here, see how it hits and then goes up, it hits and then goes up, it hits and then goes up. That's different. That's different than, or right here, went up and then down. Right now, it's kind of sta stagnant here. So, yeah, it is going on this channel here like this. But if you really look at that pattern, really, it, it doesn't really say it's going to go down. It might go down a little bit, but we're also kind of stuck here. The risk reward for something like this, not for me right now. If it was like kind of coming up here, this would have been the spot to get in. That spot, not here. It already went, it already went for a ride. The last thing you want... It's for this to go on a ride and then go right back up. So the timing's got to be a little bit more careful. <clears throat> Carlos is showing my boy. What's up? Oh, man, they got they got about to have a family fight. That's what's going to happen right now. Family fight. All uh, right, what's next? O-D-F-L. O-D-F-L. What's up, Carlos? You're not going to say hi, nothing. You see what I mean? People just go into stalker status. That's what they do. Uh, so this one here, yeah, so the volume here is way too low for me. Right now you could see it's just been very low and, it, and it's not just today. It's been like that for a while. So anything like that, there's too much, especially when you're doing, um, especially when you're doing like, uh, I don't know, options, you're kind of screwed on that. It's just yeah. not going to be work out for you. So I would not three people in the contract. Yeah, I'll be, you could have some very serious bid asks issues. So definitely be careful with that. Uh, uh, have you guys gotten to Apple? We did go to Apple. We did, we did, we did. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know about Apple. Like I said, it's it, because it's below its averages. I don't think it's a good time to invest. I would just wait. Again, I think based on what I'm seeing in the market, going back to looking at that, it's just in a bad situation to invest right now, this exact moment. It's way too naked. I mean, you could say, oh, man, let's go down bearishness. It doesn't give us enough for that either. So we're just waiting. Could be a couple of days and stuff like that. It, listen, we've had so many great trades, Some a good, a bad day here and there. And it's not because it's so down. It's just in a bad situation. Sometimes the stock is going down and we could invest really nicely in it. Just not this exact moment. Uh, all right, cool. What's up, brother? Thanks for saying hello. 
Chris and Primo, let's make some money. Yeah, bro, let's make some, I like money. Money's good for you. Is that cheddar? Uh-huh. Make a zed cheddar. The who? Zed cheddar. All right. I don't know. So what's going on here? You, you don't know zed cheddar? Uh, would you put TOL on your watch list so you can catch it when it breaks out consolidation? Mm -hmm. Would you put, oh, I thought he was telling, oh, he's, I thought he's like, would you probably already do it? Uh, yeah, okay, well. <laughs> you uh, would already? you put, so that's a good question. That's a good question. Would I put it, so here's the thing about this consolidation. Yes and no. Yes and no. And I'll tell you why. So a consolidation is nice, but it, I'll show you a nice consolidation. That's a nice consolidation. This is more of a channel consolidation, but the problem is it's between so many averages. So I would say yes and no. I would say the fact that it's been here for a while, you got to be careful because if it goes to the downside, okay, and it looks like everything's kind of pointing in that direction for sure. But on the other side here, um, I would like to see it break through it. I don't like what it did here because it kind of broke out and it looked like a good situation, right? But look at this, the volume, how was the volume that day? Wasn't that great? So it really depends on this. You could put on a watch list. If it goes above 50, 51, I like it if and only if the volume is strong. Because you can see the volume hasn't been strong. And it seems like this thing does not really move in the direction you want it to do. It's been going in a downward channel, kind of stuck here. So I would say put on a watch list, but don't be surprised if it's there for a while. And if it might have a little spike, one spike is not good enough. We need to see like a very strong spike on that because it seems like every spike it gets rejected. And we got to look at that and say, eh, maybe uh, it's not so hot. So, yeah, it used to be all right when it was going on an upswing, but it, it's been below its averages. So, you know, if anything, man, I'd like to see this above 58 where the 200 day moving day averages, then we could look at something like that. Brian Norris, we got, we got a bunch of stuff there. You know what? Let me see. I want to check on reversal for ADP. Uh, ADP reversal. Brian Norris, man, he's another a lot of paid clients, man. A lot. Oh. Christian, one of the guys who he has so many trading logs. Christian, right? Yeah, he's doing good. Um, so this one is just below its averages, man. Reversal. So I'm going to talk about reversal. A reversal to me means it's going into the bullish side. Right now, think about this. This thing had this channel going. It's below this channel. So a reversal, yeah, it could go back up, but really it, it needs to break both lines. And because of the, how where these are, a, re, a true reversal would be if it goes to 230. That's a true reversal. Anything below that, yes, it could go up, but guess what? Guess what? That just means, that just means that we're still going um, up by luck. We don't want luck. We want strategy. A good strategy here is put this on us. So go, uh, going back to Shane, putting something like this on a watch list and seeing it break through such a strong up downward channel, that would be great. Get Once this hits 230, you got my word. This thing's going to the upside majorly. Uh, Brooks Golden, what's up, man? How are you? I think Steve told me about you. I, think, I believe you run a remarketing company. If you want to tell us about that, that'd be cool. What kind of marketing company? I'm not sure. But that's awesome to see you live. Man, if you have any questions at all, bro, by all means, but definitely ask. Would love to answer anything you have. Hope you're enjoying the show. Where to next? Uh, S. Wow. What is it? S. Wow. Uh, what is it? S. Wow. Uh, there's no such thing. Oh. I thought I was spelling it wrong. No problem, Brian. Uh, Anytime, man. DK. DK? All right, DK. Uh, so DK is looking like, now this, this could be a good one because what I'm seeing here is a beautiful bounce. So you could see this one's been going over. It's not, and think about this. It went down with the market, but it didn't hit below any crazy averages. That shows how healthy this stock really is. And as we just need to see a nice solid green candle. So if we're seeing one of these, one of these, you know, one of one of these, we'll, we could see a beautiful reversal. But we need to see that. So get us to 26, 26 and a half. That then you're looking to the upside. Very nice stock. Again, these are the type of stocks we go over in our webinar, how to find them, how to utilize them, how to make money on them. 
Definitely comment webinar below if you haven't seen it. Chris Wishnia, you are late? No, all good, man. I'm, hey, the fact that you're joining us on such beautiful weather in this bearish market, it's all good. It's all good. So welcome. Welcome to the show. If you have any questions, just let us know. A lot of cool people joining us today. Where to next? Uh, ACGL. ACGL. Where are you getting these? It's just all over the place. <laughs> That's what I'm being. <laughs> uh, should Zynga be filling a gap to the downer? We'll check that out too. All right. So, Azmi Afifi, how are you? Uh, so, this one here. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's, it's naked. We don't like naked. Well, sometimes we do. Uh, Carlos likes naked, but in this situation here, naked chicken wire. yeah, um, if you look, so it looks like I like it because it has a nice little move to the upside, right? Like an up to upward channel. The problem is it's below its averages. So at any point, there's no support. We don't know where it could lie in the past. The stock used to be above it. It was beautifully bullish. Now it's down. We need to wait. I would not invest in the stock until it gets around 48. And that could be big. That could be big. ABC, always be chatting with Dave Gorbia. Ronnie Lamagre. Lamagre. I think I said that right. I'm not sure. Probably not. Uh, let me check that out. ABC. And let me check out Zynga and all that other stuff. ABC. So ABC, um, oh, look at, you know, Dave's been uh, doing his thing, man. Uh, so Dave did a lot of the webinar work. That's why he's giving them out now. So if you're interested in getting the webinar, you can talk to him. Um, I like what I'm seeing here. So I like the fact that it's popping up above it. And so it had a little bit of a bounce. Now, the, uh, here's the thing about something like this. I like to see, so it's, it's coming together really nice, really, really nice. Uh, da, 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 just trying to see what's going on. I like it, and I'll tell you why I like it. So I think this could be I, more like the fact when they bounce down and then up, but this one already bounced down and it's going up. Yeah. But let's just say I'm wrong. And what happens is this thing comes back down a little bit. Risk to reward. This may hit 155 again. Well, if I have a longer term contract or if I have a stock, guess what? I'll take this all day for a quick reversal to the upside. That's why I don't like the day trade. Day trading, just it's a gamble. If you don't get it that moment, that day, that second, and you made the wrong decision, oh yeah, it's great to get instant money, but it sucks getting instant losses. Things, this is why a lot of my trades, why I, we, we show you trades that are, we have 98% winning ratio right now. It actually went up after this month. It was like 99%. Yeah. It's because we have certain more days to make up little losses like this. But I like this one. And I'm going to say, you know what? I'm going to be daring enough in this market to give this stock as one of my picks. Good, good call on this one, Dave. Very nice. I like the volume. Even though the volume is a little lower than usual, it's been going up in a nice manner. So I, I think it's going to push it to the top considering it's still a little early. I like that one. We're going to go with A, B, C. It's easy as Randy Lemagri. Say that. It's hard to say that name. What's, what's next? Uh, <clears throat> no, I saw something. Zynga, was it? Yeah. All right, let's see. Was that Shane? Mm -hmm. Shane, could Zynga be filling a gap to the downward? Oh, man. Um, I don't know. It's. I, I'm going to say... I see what you're saying, but let's let's look. That's a very extreme case because here's the thing: if it was, let's see here. Uh, where is it now? I don't know if it's ready to go specifically that down. That's hard to say because the market is down. So that would mean the market has to go down. I don't. Uh, I'm gonna say no because if you took the few bad days of the market. The stock has been very good overall, and it had a little bit of a downturn with the market. To say that, well, like if, if that was the case, usually what happens with this big gap like this, and if it was just like one of those crazy gaps, 
it'll usually fill the gap down pretty quickly, fairly quickly. Not, it's been a while. So it's been holding still pretty strongly. I don't know, man. I, I just don't feel like, I like the volume. I like, I like what you're seeing, but filling that gap, man, what do you Ooh, think? Yeah, it take some time. It would take a so while. Maybe, and maybe I just don't long. think that's enough to say yeah. that because the history, huh? Probably end up bouncing up again before going further. Possibly. I just don't see it falling straight down within like two days type of thing, or even a, in a week. Yeah, I don't see that unless, again, if the market tanks, but that could happen either way. So it's hard to say. I will tell you, the volume is crazy. Like, I don't necessarily disagree with you, Shane, because I mean, look at the $44,000 in volume to trade. That's a lot. I do think I'm bearish about it. I do think it's going to go down a little bit. I just don't know if it's going to fill the gap. That's a big gap to fill, man. And it's already trading that much. I feel like if it's already that much volume, it would have already done it. It would have had another one of these gap days. So People I'm bearish it. about it, but not that bearish about it. All right. Van Vel Mu Moana. How are you? Peter Cates. Se? How would you say? T-S-E? Se? Se? Peter Se? How are you? That's a uh, Renny Lemagra. I can't, can't keep saying that name. All right, what's next? Uh, CYN. CYN? Mm -hmm. oh, excuse me. Uh, so, a lot of volume in the stock. Again, guys, I don't like trading anything that's below 200 day moving day average. And here's why this is exactly the reason why stock going, if, if the stock is going through an identity crisis, that's the problem with something like this. Look, it's been going down, down, down. Oh my God, it's a bearish stock. Wait, now it's going up. It's trying to figure out what's the value of it. And we don't want to invest in, in someone who's going through puberty. They just they don't have an identity yet. You know, we're still getting pimples here. I'm still getting pimples. Yeah, we're still in the Oxycutum state. Remember Oxycutum? No? Anybody? Who remembers Oxycutum? What is that? Let's see. Any, anybody used uh, for your their acne back in the day? Oxypads? They still have them in the store. Oh, Oxypads, yes. I well, they used to have a commercial. Uh, if you have a pimple, execute him. Uh, uh, yeah, like execute him, <laughs> execute him. Come on, bro. Get on that. So, yeah, not for me on this one, even though it looks bullish, it looks great. But trust me, anything can turn with things like this. So, OxyClean was for laundry. <laughs> no, it's different. What's next? Uh, that's it. All right, guys. A lot of stocks. Did any of anybody else? So, overall, man, just kind of let's talk about the market a little bit. Okay. Let's. Let's little, do a little face-to-face -face action high. So overall, the market is bearish, and I get that. Here's what you got to learn today. Sometimes people always ask me, what are you going to trade today? And I'll tell them, well, we're going to go bullishness, and we're going to find some bullish stocks. Sometimes you go bearish, and sometimes you play golf. You just don't trade. Uh, there's not a lot on the market right now. What I don't want you to think, though, a lot of people get concerned, and this is where emotions take over. It's one day. We've had them. We've had them every few weeks where it's just like, hey, man, it's just not much there. But I'll take that all day. People get stuck in their heads. They go on the news. They go watch all the social media stuff and say, oh, my God, the market is crazy. Think about the whole world is falling apart. It's just crazy. And then when the market's up, oh, my God, it's going to be up forever. Listen, guys, it doesn't go that way. We just look for human psychology. That's why it works. That's the only thing that's been consistent in the market. That is why I go publicly every week, give you stock picks, and we're 99% correct. We got one wrong since March. One. That's this one. Yeah. Yeah, and I think you even told me at some point it went yeah. different. I like the trader yeah. shirt. Can I get? Yes. So, good question. Rodley. Rodley. One of our... Man, me and her have a history. Let me tell you, she was going to join it like years ago and then she came back. Interesting stuff. Anyways, good question. Thanks for asking. Salam. So here's the thing about the shirts. We are actually working on them. I have a bunch of them here. We got a company where um, we have somebody right now putting it all together. We're going to have some merch coming in, guys. It's going to be fun. Uh, so coming soon, Rotary, to a theater near you. Uh, Netflix, a good buy now. Do you see a reversal anytime soon? Let's check that out. So we're about to go, but we're going to check it out. But before I talk about that, guys, very, very important. Can I get some hearts before we go? Sure. This is, you know, this is the heartbreak show. I'm going to finish with, if the hearts are good, I'm going to talk a little bit about the market still, and we're going to go over Netflix. Perfect. And Bella, 
Bella, oh, Bella got a new bed. I want to show everybody Bella a new bed. So Bella now resides. Somebody told me the other day, oh man, we think it doesn't look, she doesn't look comfortable. So what I did is I got her a little bed. So now she sleeps in bed. And I could carry her and she still sleeps. You see that? Good girl, Bella. If you enjoy what Bella's bed, let me know. Look at that. Let me, Bella wants some hearts. Essence, I appreciate you too, man. Thank you every, for joining all the time. Sherry Love, appreciate the love. Ray Tangaretti, Ace Bush. What are you, blind, bro? What do you think this is? It's not just, a, it's, oh, you think, it's my double face? No. Although people thought I would look better like this. What do you think? Like this? Bella, you better. How's that? Hello. Stop it. <laughs> Don't eat Bella. You're... No, man. No way. We love our Bella. She joins the picture very well here. All right. Let's finish up some things here. Bella, we got to go. Give me a kiss. You like the bed? Okay, fine. I'll give you for the next bed. Here. <laughs> All right. So here's the thing, guys. Uh, don't get caught up with emotions. That's what I'm going to tell you. The market, I'm going to tell you right now, you'll see, I'm going to have some great plays coming up. I don't have a lot for you today because I don't want to give you something just to give you something, okay? Uh, so <laughs> you can borrow anytime, Stella. Uh, but yeah, I would say just to be careful with the market. Be careful with uh, listening to people. Don't worry. Oh my God, the market. Listen, I've traded in every kind of environment and every environment, especially guys, let me tell you a little secret. When it's really up, it's even scarier because you don't know when it's going to come down. At least when it's down, we're waiting for it. Pajalista, we're waiting for it. We're waiting for it. So just be careful. That's all. Um, that's what I got to say. Uh, we'll check out Netflix real quick for you guys before we go. And I appreciate everybody for all the love, man, you guys give us. Um, yeah, so, the, uh, man, I'd love to say I like Netflix. You know, they got some good shows. Mm -hmm. uh, it was great for my paycheck collector for months. Yeah, months. It was, yeah. nah, man, how much money did I make in this stock? But it, doubled in like I know. four months. Four yeah, it was months. great. It was great. But here's the thing. It's down. It's down. For a reversal, so I see you're asking that question. I don't see it. So a lot of times when you ask me what I think, uh, there is no think. <laughs> it's very simple. It's the oops. It's the fact that it's so low right now, and there's no room for. It's not showing me any kind of sign. Now you might say, "Well, look, we have a little bit of a turn happening right here." I know what you're saying. But when the volume is this low, I mean, it's 10 million, but compared to what it was, it's not that good. That's number one. Number two, when these are pointing so down, all you're doing is taking risks. When it's so above, below its averages here, a lot of risks. They Don't forget, man, they lost 20 million people magically, whether it's from the Ukraine thing, whether it's international that's a hard pill to swallow mm -hmm. just do the math okay 30 20 they they get paid on average about 13 dollars a month i think i believe right mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. that's 20 million dollars okay in revenue that they can count on to support everybody that's 260 million dollars a month that they lost a month and understand like even as much as they're making they're this company is always at a loss because of how many billions they pay to cre create production. They go, they use the long-term model, mm -hmm. long-term picture. So for something like that, I would need to see a very strong return. We, I'm gonna tell you what's gonna turn this stock around. I don't say this that often, but news. We need to see some, when it's fundamentally that broken, we need to see some sort of, re, maybe it would take another quarter to see a reversal for people to get confidence back. But until then, it's just, it's going to be kind of unpredictable. So I just stay away from a stock like that. Yeah, yeah. But overall, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's show. Um, we're going to be back here. Samira, what's up? 
We're going to be back here on Thursday. And I'm interested to see what's going on. We'll check out, obviously, ABC. I think I like that one today. Um, but I want to see what happens because now it gets interesting. The sequel to this week is going to be interesting to see what will happen when the market is down. Is it going to stay down? Will we find no place for two days in a row, which has never happened? It has never happened where we have very limited, limited amount of plays. Uh, yeah, that, Radu, definitely watch the replay, but also come back Thursday because we're going to do the sequel to this and see what will happen in the bearish market. Can we find more plays? Will we be in a loss? <laughs> will our percentage go down? Stay tuned and bring the popcorn and be back to Stocks to Buy and Why on Thursday. See you guys later.